but I'm actually getting ready to leave my office. I'm going to go to Old Man Hustle. It's seven minute mic. It's a place on the Lower East Side. It's kind of a weird little dicey bar that's actually one room. So we're going to check it out. I wasn't going to go because I've been really sick the last day or so, but then I ate a ton of chocolate. Um, actually, let me show you. It's, um, it's actually an Eli Zabar's brownie. Um, it says, it's called Zebra Bar. Um, I ate the entire thing and I, I never eat chocolate or I, I mean, I never eat sugar. So I'm like, ah, wired now. So I'm going to go to the mic and I actually canceled on Heather, Heather Apostolitis. She's I'm doing a show with her on Saturday. It's called The Real Bitches of Comedy. So, you know, I made this plan with her, and then a couple hours ago, I was like, oh my God, I'm in a freaking snot factory, not gonna make it. But then I ate the, the Tiger Bar, and I feel a whole lot better now. So I feel like, Bzzz. so I'm just gonna show you really quickly uh, this set list. I have to take a break here to show you that. So this is the set list. Well, it's, you see the same one. It's sort of the same one on the left and right side. The right side has one fewer item because I'm not sure how long I'll get for the, I mean, I'm not sure how long, how quickly I'll make it through the seven minutes. Old Man Hustle is really a, um, let's go back to me. Old, Old Man Hustle is one of those mics where like, it's in a bar, it's kind of a weird room and no one really laughs. I mean. If I get a laugh, I know it's really, really good stuff. So I'm just going there. I'm going to say, you know, it's just to get the words past my teeth. People might not laugh. That's totally okay. But if they don't laugh, that means I'll have more time to do more material, which is actually kind of a positive way to look at it. It's like, oh, if no one laughs, I get to run through more of my set. Awesome. Great. So we'll see how far we get through it. And we're going to go. Um, so I'm going to get out of work pretty soon. So I'm going to go grab Heather and we'll head to the mic. Oh, I just want to show you one more thing. So I'm actually going to start kickboxing classes. Someone's, I, I thought I've been really happy, but you know, my, someone told me that I seem like I'm filled with rage. So I'm going to start doing this to just kind of get through, get whatever out. It's the holiday season. You know, I feel, I don't know, I have a lot of feelings coming up. So, you know, stand up is one thing that I do that makes me feel really good, makes me feel happy. But I think... I think the kickboxing might be a really good idea too. I'm on the M train at Lexington and 53rd Street. The reason I pause like that is because my mouth is so dry from the anesthesia. So I'm heading downtown to the Essex Street station. It's maybe, God, it's probably like 10 stops. And it's 5.11. So the thing is, the list goes out at Old Man Hustle at about 5.30. So if I'm much later than 5.30, I'm going to end up going much later in the night. I'm actually planning on, you know, it's, it's cool because usually people don't sign up for the first two spots because they want to go later to let the crowd warm up a little bit. I don't care about that. I'll go right off. No problem. So hopefully when I get there, one of those first two spots will be available. Um, and Heather's going to meet me, so I really... I really, you know, I'm gonna obviously stick around for her, but the uh, otherwise I'm just gonna head out afterwards and go home to get some sleep. Okay. okay so we're off the train. It's about 5:29, so it looks like we might get there on time. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're here. Okay, so this looks pretty good. We're like fifth and sixth on the list. Not too bad. I don't know if you can really see, but right there, there's like a little mirror. That's actually where the stage is, like incredibly close, like right there. <laughs> it's like a go-go stage or something. So we're in Dunkin' Donuts, um, having not having coffee because I'm totally wired on sugar as it is. Or donuts. Or not having donuts. Oh my God, no donuts. <laughs> I'd be through the roof. Um, so we're having water and vitamin water. And we're waiting for the mic to start. The mic starts at 7, and I really don't want to hang out in the bar for an hour. And prepare. And prepare. And prepare. Like, we're going to chill out and prepare. Listen to some Journey music. Listen know. to some Journey. Journey is, um, Journey is the music that really gets me pumped up for mics. <sighs> Radiohead gets me pumped up. Radiohead? No, it really doesn't. No? John Travolta. Sad. It's too sad, yes. Yeah, Radiohead yeah. makes me want to cry. Staying alive. Yeah. yeah. Staying alive up on the stage. It's very important. All right. So <laughs> thanks for joining us. I realize that what I want to hear is, you're enough! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah.
Hi, we're actually here at, I'm here at Katz's with Heather Apostolitis. Apostolitis, <laughs> sorry. And uh, we, we, we came here, <laughs> we came here after the mic and we're sharing an amazing hot pastrami sandwich. Heather's going to show you. It doesn't it look, it looks so good, unless you're vegetarian. And then we got these great fries, which just look just absolutely, absolutely amazing. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. And you have to feed a cold. So I'm going to chow on this. But thank you so much for joining us today at uh, becomingacomedian.com. And uh, uh, I hope you have a really good night. Ciao.